Hi, so I've got Scott, Scott Jurek here with me. Uh, Scott, how was your day today? You've just done a, a section of the Lakeland 100, is that right? Definitely, I mean, it, it's been my dream to get over and you know run almost, I mean, I look at it as the birthplace of trail running in a way, or like one of the meccas of trail running, and getting out there today, it was just fantastic. I mean, I had a little bit of everything, of course, wanted to experience the rain that you get here. Um, there were rainbows, you know, screaming across the sky, you know, just sun breaks and of course lots of water and lots of mud. It was, you got a, it was awesome. You, you got a bit of good weather at the end, did you? Oh yeah, it was, yeah. it was, it was great. And you know, just the community too here, you can really see that, you know, the, the trail running spirit is like alive and there's just a, an energy about this place. Super. Do you, you like the idea of doing a race coming back maybe? I mean, yeah. I realize it's perhaps not the place you'd, you'd no, it, it list, seems but, uh, it seems like a good course for me. It's it, it's yeah. definitely there's a lot of running. I mean, it's not just you know a mountain course where you're just climbing up. You know, yeah. you know five ten kilometers of, of mountain climbing. It's it's literally um, you know shorter, quicker climbs, and it seems like is, it's a fast it's, course. It's similar to what you'd have done in other sort of hundred hundred mile yeah, it's, races. Yeah, it sounds it? like um, very similar to like you know obviously the train is different and yeah. the actual surface of the trail is different but maybe similar to the western states 100 you know 23,000 right. feet of climbing yeah. Yeah. Um, you know it's got that much descent and there's 18,000 feet of climbing there so you know I think it's a good mix and there's obviously technical yeah, yeah, yeah. qualities the, of it there's another it's not a race but it's called the Bob Graham round it's what everyone will want to want to ask you oh uh, yeah uh, you've read about it or you've heard about it I'm oh, sure definitely is I mean, it something you'd you'd ever give a an idea to come back and doing if you could get some people to take you around it. Yeah, I, on it and more than anything, <laughs> I just um, I was telling somebody I'd love to just do all the rounds. You know, the one up in Scotland, mm -hmm. and you know, um, of course the ground round is just it's it's got so much history behind it. And so I don't know if I'd like race it for a time, but just to like run it in its yeah, entirety yeah. and just it. see like what it's all about. Super. And uh, you know, take in some orienteering too, because I think yeah. you know that's part of the the whole lure of it. It's, of it's, a, it's an yeah, adventure. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Now tell us just before you go. Um, if, if, if someone's looking to do a 100 mile race, give them one uh, nutritional tip, one, one, one nutritional tip and one, one training tip, something that should be key for their uh, preparation. I think for nutrition, the key is um, thinking of the carbohydrate coming in like an IV drip. You want it consistently coming in. You, know, mm -hmm. you shouldn't wait until you're hungry or wait until you're bonking to get that carbohydrate in. So I, the yep. biggest thing for me is um, staying on a schedule every 20 to 30 minutes, I'm taking in some carbohydrate. And it can have a little fat, a little protein with that, but mm -hmm. um, carbohydrate is key because as soon as the glucose levels go down, you know, you don't think clearly, um, you lose that energy, you start bonking and, you know, races unravel that way. So I think really just staying on top of it from the beginning, every 20, 30 minutes, mm -hmm. getting in a little bit, whether it's a gel, whether it's um, real solid food or, you know, if it's sports foods, just make sure you're getting in that Excellent. 25, 30 grams. Right, yeah. And a training tip? Training tip? Um, One training tip. I think, it, you know, the really... The, <laughs> The biggest thing is probably specificity. Like, you know, know the course that you're encountering and mm -hmm. gonna be racing because um, if you're tackling something that has a lot of climbing, you're gonna wanna get out and do, I like to do long hill repeats where I'm running at lactate threshold for you know okay. 30 to 45 minutes and do yeah. repeats of that. Now it sounds a little crazy, but yeah. it's accomplishing, I think for 100 mile training, it's accomplishing both the intensity you need for the cardiovascular system, but then on the downhills, you're getting that muscular fatigue. And you're just yeah. bringing those muscles to the point where, you know, your cardiovascular system isn't the thing that limits you in 100 milers. It's the muscular fatigue. And yeah. so if you don't have that muscular fatigue built up and that resistance to it, um, you know, that's where most people have the trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of so course, nice. yeah, the yeah. mind, you know, doing repeats like that and yeah. doing, you know, that type of training trains your mind because that's in true. ultras, it's really more about the mental component than anything yeah. else. If, really? you, if you get the mental component. Brilliant to go. Excellent. And tomorrow you're uh, you're shooting off from here down to London. Tell us what you got on tomorrow. You're I'll be. Uh, I'm doing a, a group run with uh, Brooke Sports, um, yeah. starting at Hyde Park. We're going to do an hour, okay. just a fun run, and then uh, we're going to get some warm drinks after at the Serpentine uh, Bar and Restaurant Brilliant. there. So yeah. uh, hang out with the the club there, and then I will be at VegFest UK, which is uh, Europe's biggest uh, veggie event, and I'll be speaking on sports nutrition as well as yeah. uh, plant-based nutrition. So Brilliant. you. Can catch me Saturday and Sunday. Brilliant. Well, have a good weekend. I think you're off now for a uh, veggie pizza, I believe. I think Is so. Right? Yeah, we're going well, to see what, see what uh, the lakes have in terms of veggie fare. Brilliant. Scott, <laughs> thanks very much. Uh, it's a pleasure being here. Cheers now.